Okay. So, recently I was talking to a friend from many years back, now that I think about it, it's got to be like 10, 8 to 10 years, and he was saying how happy he was for Sam and I that we were getting married, but I really never struck him as the marrying type. So, I can't say as I blame him. Truth of the matter is, if you'd known me for any significant period of time early on in my life, age 10 to 20, 22, I wasn't the marrying type. I wouldn't have been, you know, because given the effects of childhood, psychotic mother suffered more psychiatric conditions than a laundry list should have the right to hold, and experiences limited, I admit, with other people based on a very antisocial personality, it didn't seem likely. It just didn't occur to me that I might actually be able to find someone tolerable, let alone marriage material. But, you know, it goes to show everyone can be proved wrong. I can be wrong, you can be wrong, parents, teachers, everybody can be wrong. Um, so, make of that what you will if you're going through a rather egocentric period in your life. But the other big news, well, there's, there's a couple things that, depending on how you quantify the term big, um, are big news. The first of that, um, first of that being the invitations are going out soon. Yeah, I know. It's only the beginning of July. <laughs> You've got time until the September wedding. Why not wait? Well, technically speaking, we had agreed that they would get done in June. Because I wanted them to go out at least three months in advance. Because I'm paranoid about people having enough time to schedule babysitters and get time off work and plan for travel in case it costs money because they're driving in from out of state. You know, I worry. I'm female and I'm Jewish. I worry. So... The invitations are going out soon, which is good. And the other thing is, all right, ever since season one, I've been a fan of The Biggest Loser. Bob, Jillian, that one weird season where they had that other girl whose name I can no longer remember. I think she was blonde. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've been watching it this whole time. And until recently, I wasn't willing to invest in... Workout clothes, you know, it's like it's pants and a shirt. Why do you need special workout clothes? Can't you just, you know, wear what you own? Um, quality sneakers, because I'd gotten so lazy and physically debilitated that they didn't seem worth the expense, because where the hell was I going? And workout DVDs and in-home exercise equipment. Now, my concept of in-home workout equipment was, I guess you'd best call it lavish. It was treadmills and ellipticals and stationary bikes, which at one point my dad and I did own because my grandmother sent us one that we didn't ask for. So I didn't want that kind of big, bulky, make you feel guilty for looking at it and not using it crap in the house, but the longer Sam and I have been together, the more I've actually given a crap, because I don't mind being fat, I mind feeling winded for reasons other than asthma, which I was born with, I mind feeling pain because I have been diagnosed with arthritis in my knees and heel spurs in my feet and a pinched nerve in my neck. And I have a fairly high tolerance for pain, and it doesn't seem fair that it hurts three, four times as bad because I'm allowing myself to eat a, seriously, a full-size bag of chips as a snack. I mean, you shouldn't make a giant bowl, like, you know those large metal mixing bowls? 
You shouldn't be able to fill one of those with butter topping laden popcorn and still be hungry afterwards. And yet, my appetites know no bounds. So it had gotten pretty out of hand. Well, about a week ago, what's today, Thursday? Today's the eighth day. I said, you know what? Fuck it. Pardon my French. I'm trying to change my diet, but that's that's long term. That's long, long term. Changes to your diet will help you lose weight, but that's not all that's involved. I mean, you can be a fat vegetarian. It's possible, you know? So I started doing one of the workout DVDs Sam got me when we saw his parents the week of his birthday, which is a Jillian Michaels DVD. Now, I have several of Bob Harper's already, because um, for a long time I've apparently favored Bob. It doesn't hurt that he's cute, but a lot of what he says makes sense to me, which is probably why I favor him. Um, but I do have a couple of the Jillian DVDs, and this one was called Front Side for Beginners. So there's a little advertising plug for you. And... I'm a huge skeptic, you know, like, how good can a workout DVD be? I mean, I know it's exercise and you get out of it what you put into it and such, but I don't know, you know, I'll give it a week or so, and if I don't see any quantifiable results, then we'll give up the ghost and do something else. So I wrote down my stats, weight, waist, thighs, arms, hips, you know, all of the things that most people measure, and I think especially most women who are overweight measure, as a guide for being in better shape. Now, my weight scale and I have a very poor relationship. It's not good. So I thought, well, you know what, we'll go by inches. Because inches are, are more tangible, they're more visible long term. So if I'm putting on muscle, the number on the scale is going to change. I lose 10 pounds of fat, I gain 3 pounds of muscle. All I'm going to see is negative 10 plus 3. So, why do that to myself? If the inches keep going down, then I'm doing something right. So I took my measurements, and then I took them again this morning. And it's actually working. In 8 days, I, I've done this DVD, Front Side for Beginners, 4 times. And I've lost one inch on my waist, one inch on my hips, one inch on my arms, which for me is good because I've got, you know, that uh, grandma wobble under my arms, chicken wings. And the impressive number of the week is three inches on my thighs, which... I mean, I'm like Lady Cellulite. It's ridiculous. I have German and Italian heritage, so I know I'm going to be hippie. And I know I'm going to have, you know, thicker than average thighs. But it's, it's Hindenburg status, really. It needs to get better. So, three inches in a week. That's respectable. I mean, if I were doing the DVD every day... Yeah, the number probably would have been higher, and especially the first week, because it's, you know, surprising the crap out of a body that doesn't work out ever, <laughs> you know. But I can deal with that. I mean, I can't do it every day. My knees, my feet, it really does hurt. I mean, weight's a factor, but it's not a causal factor. I'm going to have heel spurs no matter how thin or fat I am. I'm going to have arthritis in my knees no matter how thin or fat I am. The fact that I'm doing it at all speaks to my pain tolerance, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, you know, and then yesterday I did up it a little bit. I did another 45 minutes after the DVD, which is 45 minutes itself, of what I consider club dancing, really. Um, I'm big now, but... I actually can move. I'm remarkably flexible. <laughs> I just don't like to show it off, because when you're curvy the way I am, fat or not, it draws a lot of attention. 
and I'm still antisocial. <laughs> I still don't like attention. You know, even if it is because people are going, oh my god, that hot little thing in the corner, look at the purse on her. That's, it still makes no difference to me because I don't like it when people hoot at me. I don't like when people honk as they're passing by, you know, hey, sexy mama, you know, that kind of bullshit. I, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just me being semi-prudish, but I, that just doesn't strike me as encouraging. It doesn't say to me, respond positively. You know, it says, are they drunk? But Sam, I asked him this morning, do I look any different? And he goes, I don't know. I see you every day. I'm not going to notice. Fair answer. I mean, you would hope that the person you're going to marry is a little more inclined to say, oh yeah, honey, you look great. I mean, I can tell you've been doing something. You look fantastic. <laughs> but Sam can be honest to a fault, and he doesn't hide the fact that he loves me the way that I am. He's not interested in how thick or thin I am. He's interested in that I am who I am, which is a quality more humans should share. So, it's a fair response. I accept it, you know. I mean, I, I'm hypersensitive to these things, so if he were to lose or gain weight, I'd probably notice it a hell of a lot sooner than he would. But yeah, that's that's the positive endorsement I want to give this at least this particular Jillian Michaels DVD. Um, you know, that altogether I've lost three, four, five, six inches in four workouts over eight days. Yes, I've modified my diet some. I'm not perfect, I'm not vegetarian, I'm not vegan, I still eat fish, I still eat shrimp, I occasionally eat chicken. The other night I had steak for dinner, but to be fair, I had steak because I literally had not had a steak in a year. It was actually last June 2010 that I had steak previously. So that's like, you know, my once a year given. The steak is expensive, and, and too much red meat can be detrimental, I think, to the human body. But generally speaking, I've cut out eggs. I don't really have dairy except for, you know, two tablespoons in my morning coffee. Because to me, almond milk and coffee, it just, it's acceptable. It just doesn't taste as good as fat-free half and half, which in and of itself, I suppose, is semi-oxymoronic. So what else, what else, what else? Ooh! I inhaled the Rob Lowe autobiography, Stories I Only Tell My Friends. That book was insane good. I mean, I read Speed Read, and I've been reading at a college level since fifth grade, so my proficiency at taking things in has gotten remarkably good. This thing is like maybe 300 pages, and I took it in in two hours give or take, maybe two and a half. And it was, I mean, there's very few autobiographies that are a page turner. This was one of them. Like, I feel stupid for not going to his book signing when he was in New York. I could have. I knew it was coming. I follow him on Twitter, but I'll make up for it. I'll, I'll go see someone else when I know they're coming. So I also highly recommend that book. You can't have my copy, but you can... Go get it and read it yourself. Alright, well, according to YouTube, my time is almost up because I'm a very talkative woman. So, hope you all have fun. And I'll try and continue measurement updates. I've got until September 23rd, so let's see how far I can get. Later.